Residents tell us it's bad enough they have to worry about people stealing their holiday packages from their front porches. Now they say there's a problem that's even worse. They say some postal workers are just tossing their packages onto the front lawn. Pascal Baroni shot this cell phone video. He says that's a mail carrier tossing a package on his Metairie neighbor's brick porch. A very blatant disrespect for you know other people's property. He captured that video Saturday. I was, I was sitting on the sofa and I heard a thud. And I get up and I see the mail lady walking off. But it, it hit pretty hard, so I just thought maybe somebody was knocking at the door. Well, I looked across the street and she threw the packages at the house. I just thought I'd film it just to see if she'd do it again, and sure enough. Take another look. It shows that postal carrier approach the front door, then quickly fling the package in that direction. After posting what he saw on Facebook, it was shared over 12,000 times. Last month in Slidell, Richard Hines says it happened to him too. His security camera recorded this postal worker who seems like she can't quite make it to the porch. She stops and hurls his package. It hit a wall and then the pavement before it stopped. I, I was shocked. I mean, I've never saw anything like that before. Inside, a toy for his three-year-old. Hines says luckily it didn't break. He says after reporting it to the postmaster, he was told the worker would be disciplined. Back in Metairie, Baroni showed us the dented package he found on his porch. He's hoping the hard-to-find car part that he ordered isn't damaged. I don't know if it works yet or not, but it's going to be very hard to replace that. We reached out to post office officials and sent them Baroni's video. They say they're looking into the incident. I just think people should have a little more respect for other people's stuff, honestly. And we do want to mention in both of these cases, Slidell and Metairie, residents tell us that these were not their normal postal workers. These were fill-ins. They say they think that may have contributed to the problem. We also want to mention that Baroni says he did contact the post office to try and talk to the postmaster before he ever contacted us. Tammy Eswick, WDSU News.